Hey, howdy, how goes it? All of the above. I felt like uh, making, I'm keeping it close so I don't bump it on anything. You know, plus I don't want to leak, even though it's, I don't know, I'm not, it's really nothing to leak. Anyways, I felt like sewing today. Well, I've been feeling like sewing for a while, but I haven't really sewed. Uh, do I like this angle? It's a little bit tight, but we like things tight around here. Today, I have these. As you can see, okay, you can't even see my goddamn face. Hold on. Today, fuck me. So I have these. I bought these, uh, I don't know when ago. And I liked them mostly for the fabric. I wore them a little bit. They're comfy. They're just like a, they're like a women's pants. Uh, I don't really know if they're like a lounge pant or a workout pant. I'm going to be ripping out all the seams from here because I will be using this as fabric for a pair of jeans or some sort of pants or some sort of design I'm thinking of. I've just kind of like taken this and then having like very smooth, abstract sort of blobbies um, just all over the pant leg, maybe a, the jacket back. I don't know what it's gonna be on, but regardless, one thing holds true no matter what it's on, and that's the fact that I need this fabric. I just kind of felt like filming it because I want to do more dumb, I don't want to say pointless videos, but overall there's really nothing being accomplished. But just sort of videos and just doing stuff. Because I do a lot of stuff that I don't film. And then I feel bad because then I don't have enough videos. And, and since I'm doing other shit sometimes anyways, I might as well film it and I guess just try to make the most of it. What am I trying to say? Like I do it anyways. I'm just trying to force myself to film it because if it's if it's me doing this instead of potentially something else like you know making a game or something or not making a game but making a video, playing a game, streaming, etc. It's like I might as well stop not filming it because like what's the point? I don't know. So I think more people would rather see it than people that. I guess would just fucking want to kill me if I uploaded it. You know what I mean? Like, there's no harm in uploading it. The only harm is... I mean, you know, maybe I poke myself with a seam ripper on accident. Which I've done once. It hurts like a bitch, dude. But essentially what I'm trying to say is... If I'm not always playing games and sometimes I'm doing other shit, I just need to record that shit too. I eventually want to make this a business in some way. You know, maybe I'm not going to be selling, you know, custom made clothes constantly, but maybe I'll custom make some clothes. I'll sell them here and there. Or I'll, like I'll custom make something. I'll get some design inspiration. I'll make some merch from it. Or I say merch, I, you know, I'm probably going to have merch, but I don't really want to classify it as merch. It might not be cryos themed. Like some of them might be, but at least the first drop, I've been wanting to try to design it myself but the problem is i don't know what the hell i want to design like i have one that i was working on of like a striped hyena which was turning out pretty cool but then i see it on a shirt and i'm just like it feels so empty it feels like i could use more but then i think about where it could add more i'm just like ooh, that would make it messy that blah, blah blah it's hand drawn well it's not i mean it is hand drawn it's hand drawn digitally but it's not like an original drawing of a hyena i actually just looked up I forgot what made me look it up. I just looked up hyenas and I saw this picture. I was like, damn, this motherfucker stands up hard. I want to draw him. And then I start watching videos on hyenas and I just see this photo over and over. I'm just like, okay. So I accidentally picked just like the most popular photo of these things, which I feel like sometimes goes in line with designing merch though. Because people really just be using other popular assets. And I'm not knocking it. I mean, sometimes it can be lazy, but that's all. That's just, that's. That's clothes in general, man. That's everything in general. Everything can be lazy. But yeah, I don't know. I just kind of want to actually try to design some merch. Um, hopefully the quality is good. I haven't actually got samples of it yet because I still haven't came up with the design, unfortunately. So it's a little bit of a lagged process. But that's because I just won't ask for help ever. And then I have a, another design that's like slightly more cryos oriented just because it's Relating to cold front, you know, cryos is like, you know, cold and shit or whatever. What if I were to get more extreme with the camera angles? Trying to get below multiple if I can without digging into the fabric itself. I got a finger. It's a beautiful baby finger. Was considering for a while to just put like pockets on these things just to make them like still wearable because they are like pretty comfortable. But not having any pockets sucks. Honestly, I prefer having extra. I prefer almost having too many pockets just to always be ready because I always want to be prepared no matter what it is. Even though I'm usually not prepared, but you know. Probably what will eventually be miles of thread. Actually, that is well, that is an interesting... I'm curious how much thread is like actually in a pair of pants. Not like actual... Like I'm talking about not making it because then like you're for sure dealing with miles of thread. Like if you're talking about all of this total added up. 
for sure. I'm talking about just to hold it all together. I wonder how much, how much, like how many yards, how many feet, how many meters, how many kilometers, how many miles, how many nautical miles, how many depths, wait, is that what it's called? No, how many fathoms, that's what it is. How many knots? Well, I guess knots is a speed of measurement, never mind. Still though, fuck it, how many knots? Because, you know? These fucking strings get a lot of knots. I've actually been using my uh my old ass, I say mine, but I mean, I guess it is mine now. But I've been using my old, like 1960s Singer a lot more. So I got it threaded and sort of got it working. And dude, that thing is like strong. Like bumpy hems areas where it's like a lot of folds on like jeans or something. Like even just like, I mean, this isn't a great showing. Like it would just go right over, like this area, it's easy. It's so much, I want to say so much stronger. It might be the same strength, but it feels a lot sturdier since it's like 60 pounds and my other one's probably like 15, 20 pounds. So it just sits like a goddamn brick on my desk. The legs that came on it were pretty fucking big and they were annoying and they're now a shelving unit in the corner of my room. Here, I'll show you guys. Real Those were the, to the table I had in here previously. Now I got this table with my Singer 185J. Fuck out of here. I could have heard if I smacked this instead, huh? Couple of needles on a magnet. One of my favorite pastimes. Played it all the time when I was growing up. Hey guys, you wanna play needle magnets? Yeah, dude, I'm pumped. I've been waiting all day. <sighs> Not like it used to be. We used to be a country. Now what are we? All right, how much more we got? Okay, just like, uh, fucking. <sighs> What's awesome is I literally have a place to put all of my, like, loose threads that I cut up, small scraps. But I never actually use it until I clean up. And I'm just like, oh yeah. And I dump it all in there. I'm like, wow, it's so fucking neat now. If only I could do that as I'm working. Working. <laughs> I don't make money doing it. Well, I guess if I fucking vlogged it more, I would. People want to see it. I'm just a lazy little bitch. And also for the longest, I hadn't had a wireless microphone. And the other microphone kind of sucked because it was directional. So then I had to be super aware of where I was. But now I can just kind of talk wherever and it works out for me. The next step is getting like a wireless receiver so I can just stream this shit too. I don't know how hard it is to send HDMI over Wi-Fi. And when I say it like that, it sounds, it sounds kind of insane. Like sending HDMI over Wi-Fi sounds nuts. It also could be a lot more simpler than I am even thinking it could be. Honestly, TV and like all that, just like the transmitting of it is still kind of crazy. Because it doesn't actually like send a video. I mean, it does, but it's like, it's also not a video, you know? It's just sending pixel information. I would say we're down to about a foot left now. Especially after that Vietnam accident that I was in. Goddamn platoon stuck up behind us. We never saw him coming. We thought we were out free. Next thing I know, I hear the whistle of an RPG sneaking up behind us. At least it felt like it was sneaking, but as I turned around, I was met face to face with my doom. At least that's what I thought until I woke up 36 hours later in the hospital. Whole entire right leg blown off, left eye missing. Luckily I got that glass one in there now. Had it modeled after my platoon leader that got killed for shoving me out of the way of the RPG. <laughs> I love that man. You're supposed to be married. I was cheating on my wife with him and everything. We were going to get married out of this. I was going to get custody of my kids since I was in the military. And I, you know, maybe I get a little bit of leeway with the government. I said, hey, come on, I'll serve this country. I can serve my children, God damn it. Take the custody. And then I said, fuck that bitch. And then I live happily ever after. <laughs> but that's not going to happen now. I'm going to live sadly after after. With my wife. But I'm a gay man. Probably about a foot left now, for real. Speaking of a foot, god damn it, my platoon. They're all gone. Why am I the only survivor? Sergeant Sergeant. It's a weird name, but, you know. Major Corporal. Another weird one, but, you know, we dealt with it. Lieutenant Staff. He was never a sergeant. He wanted to be, though. I actually don't know if lieutenants are the sergeant. Sorry for not knowing my ranks in this long-winded, stupid fucking joke. Was it even a joke? Anyone laugh? Oh, we're, we're pounding through this shit now. Me as I pound through something. I don't pound through anything. I'm so alone. You know, I'll be honest, after ripping out... Oh, fuck, I've, messed, I've ripped through the fabric there. Ugh. I don't know. That's kind of all I gotta say at this point. Wait, no. What I actually have to say is, after fucking seam ripping this shit, I'll be honest, I might just cut down the fucking seam on the other leg. <laughs> I just don't know if I give a frick enough. I'm not gonna use all this fabric, because I'm putting it on a pair of pants, but in a in a in a pattern that I'm gonna... I still have to make the pattern. But I'm putting it all designed in a pattern. Don't know why I said pattern like that. I think I'm falling apart. 
four inches left. I mean, I don't even know if that's four inches, really. I mean, that sure is a long way to go, though. I'll tell you that much. This four, these last four, they always say, like, the, the last four inches are the biggest. So we're done, pretty much. We just got to cut off the ball sack here. And your circumcision is done, sir. Oh, God, we cut off the whole tip. We have a pant flayed. Now we just have to scale it. Wait, no, pants. Uh, it's The hem is cut. Damn, I, don't, I just felt like sharing this thought that came in, but dude, imagine doing OnlyFans, though, but instead of me sitting here sewing clothes, I'm sitting here sewing clothes naked. That should go fucking awful, bro. Who the hell would want to watch that? I think if I was giving... I, I, I think if I was actually instructional, it could work. I'll get like the the I'll get so many people into sewing. Well, so many horny people into sewing. They won't even be horny anymore. I'm actually gonna fix chronic masturbation by showing people that there's hobbies that you can actually make stuff with, and you're not just gonna make a little bit of cummy wummy that you flush down the toilet in a fucking roll of toilet paper or throw in your trash in a Kleenex. Or if you're one of those real sick fucks, you come in a sock. So it's just a full ass elastic band wrapped around. Pretty much, it's literally just an elastic band with cloth wrapped around it. I mean, it makes sense. About the simplest way to do it, instead of just relying on stretchy fabric. All right, in order to celebrate me only getting halfway, I'm going to go ahead and rip that thread out. But more so than that, I'm going to shove my arm deep into this hole, pull it out, boom, prolapse. And I'm just going to cut this seam off because... Luckily, I haven't cut myself yet with the scissors. I've been very careful because scissors don't care. The one thing I'm mostly afraid of is knives. Scissors are very controllable. Even when you're cutting at your fingers, if you just go slow enough, you're going to feel the pressure of the blade touch you. I do also have these, which I don't... Actually, I, dude, maybe, maybe I'll just crank these out real quick. These are another old thing I have. I don't know how old these are. Probably not quite as old as my sewing machine, but definitely way more fucking tangled. Like, I don't know. My camera's about to die. Fuck, I gotta get this, I gotta get this thing working. I gotta show them otherwise none of them are gonna believe me that I have technology. So quick, so easy. It's beautiful. You might be wondering why the fuck did I, why the fuck did I seam rip? I don't know. Boom, easy as that, we're done. Modern technology from 50 years ago. <laughs> All right, well this camera's about to die, so I'm gonna have to wrap it up. Um, but next time you see me, I don't know.